circle command. There are four ways to invoke the circle command. If you're using AutoCAD release 2009 or newer, you have a ribbon at the top of your screen. You can find the circle icon on the draw panel of the home tab. Click on the circle icon and it starts the circle command. If you prefer toolbars, you can find the circle icon on the draw toolbar. Click on it and that will start the circle command. You can also use a pull-down menu. I'm going to click on the draw pull-down and come down till I see circle. Notice when you're using the pull-down menu you get a lot of options here. I'm going to select the first option which is center and radius. That means it's going to first prompt me for the center and then prompt me for the radius. This is what the default is if you're using the icons on the ribbon or the toolbar. Click on that and I've started the circle command. And lastly, if you prefer command aliases, you can type C, enter, and that'll start the circle command. I'm going to draw two circles, one with a radius of one and one with a diameter of one. I'll start the circle command. I'm just going to use the icon on the toolbar here. For the start point, I'll type in 2, comma, 2. You don't have to give an absolute coordinate. You could just click somewhere on the screen or snap to another object if you need to press enter and now it's asking me for the radius of that circle. I'm going to leave the radius at 1, enter, and now I've drawn a circle with a radius of 1. I'm going to draw another circle. This time I'm going to give it a diameter of 1. So for the start point of that circle I'll type in 4, comma, 2, enter. It's still prompting me for a radius I can type in D, enter, to get the diameter, and this time I'll type in 1, and this will be a diameter of 1. So I've drawn two circles, the first one with a radius of 1, the second one with a diameter of 1, and that was using the circle command.